This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Good evening, Bahamas. Welcome to sports. I'm Jared Higgs. Team Bahamas bodybuilders are busy preparing for the CAC Games. The team that features both rookies and performers with experience will travel to Mexico at the end of September. La Julian Gibson met up with some of the team yesterday, including one of its newest members. Jared, it's a face that is hard at work, concentrating on the CAC Games in Mexico in three weeks. Angelica Wallace Whitfield, focus on what she really needs to do. A girl got to do what a girl needs to do. This was my first year competing. I started training towards this in April, um, and I was able to win nationals, so I'm hoping to medal for the Bahamas in Mexico. I've been working hard, um, and I want to, you know, put my hard work to good use. What it would it mean for you to go to Mexico and come back with a medal? Um, I've always wanted to go in and represent the country again. Um, I did it for soccer when I was younger, and as an adult, I'm honored to get this opportunity again, um, and I'm hoping to bring something good home for my country. Hopefully, first time out will be a charm for Angelica. Reporting for ZNS Total Sports, I am Julian Gibson. Team Bahamas swimmers are on their way home from Chinese Taipei. The team of Joanna Evans, Albury Higgs, Laura Morley, and Gershwin Green were competing at the 27th University Games. Grand Bahama native Joanna Evans was the star of the show. She bagged two medals, a bronze and silver, in the 800-meter and 400-meter freestyles. Topping things off, Evans broke her own national record in the 800-meter race. And speaking of national records, Bahamian 400-meter Olympic champion Shawnee miller Weibo had a great week on the track. She beat out a star-studded field for first place in the 200 meters at Diamond League Zurich. The newest Golden Girls marauding finish saw her fly by 200-meter world champion Daphne Shippers, as well as Olympic champion Elaine Thompson. miller Weibo breaking her own 200-meter national record, clocking in at a time of 21.88 seconds, and taking home a $10,000 prize. Sticking with our weekly recap, on to the not-so-good news. Miller Weibo's counterpart, 400-meter world championship silver medalist, Stephen Gardner, was also on the track this week in Zurich. Gardner lining up in his specialty 400-meter event. Unfortunately, he was unable to get out of the blocks after what looked to be a stumble. He did not finish. And Torino Johnson missing out on his shot at being the mandatory challenger to world middleweight champion Triple G. The Atlanta-based boxer had a tough night in the ring taking on Sergei Devyachenko of the Ukraine. He would lose this one by technical knockout in the 12th round. And on the international boxing stage, Floyd Money Mayweather and Conor McGregor going at it in the ring. I say this one was never fair, a boxer taking on a mixed martial artist in a boxing match. Mayweather not letting his fans down, winning the fight by technical knockout. McGregor looking absolutely exhausted at the end of this one. And before we wrap up, we've got some cricket updates for you. Cricket Association executive Greg Taylor Jr. says they're looking to get more games and more kids playing. There's an upcoming cricket season. It starts on the 23rd. Um, we'll have a few matches, league matches going on. Um, we also have a tournament coming up. Um, East-West match. We also have the Nagico tournament that we have every year. Um, that'll be held sometime in the new year. And then, of course, our cricket program with the juniors. Uh, we'll also be um, working with them, working with closely with schools, um, school teachers. Taylor Jr. says their initiatives over the past few months were right on track. The summer program was successful. Um, we had about maybe 60 kids out there, and it was a six-week program. Um, the kids, they seem to really enjoy it. They learned a lot, um, and we're hoping that we can continue with them to get them to the next level in terms of under-15 team, um, under-17, under-19, and then finally into our senior program. And that'll do it for sports. Once again, I'm Jared Higgs. Don't move. A check on weather is still to come. This is 